So we made a new short film, and if you haven't seen it, check it out before this because spoilers ahead. So with that being said, I'm going to take you through how we made our short film, Motion Detected. I've been tossing around this idea in my head for a while now of something focusing heavily on security footage and a ghost computer virus within it. And as a big fan of the Paranormal Activity series, it was definitely an inspiration for me to make this. One of the main focuses when writing it, and something that was needed to make the story work, was knowing how something invisible to regular eyesight would be able to taunt and eventually kill this person, and why. We still wanted to deliver good tension throughout the film, but without just relying on jump scares. Like that. One of my favorite ways that I added suspense in this was with the piano playing itself. It was really fun to experiment with that and how it raised a tension of its own through the repetitive note playing. And just a little fun fact, the note was actually played 28 times. We settled on the idea that this ghost would only be able to be seen in the surveillance cameras and that it would only come out at 9pm. I feel like this was a good spin on the concept and lets you, as a viewer, find these things out yourself by us showing and not actually telling. This 9pm concept also gives our character the freedom to leave and try to stay alive until the time period is over, which he ends up not doing. I ultimately just wanted to create fear for this character of something he already knows, which is his house. There's just something ironic about the home security system putting our character in danger rather than protecting him from it. For actually filming the footage itself, I used the GoPro Hero Plus, which is really great for things like this since it's so lightweight and has such a wide lens. For the shots when we see the camera, it's just a fake surveillance camera that I bought. A lot of this film really needed to seem very realistic, and almost like a found footage film, but instead of found footage, it's security footage. To make the layout of the system, I made it in Photoshop, and that was probably the simplest thing out of the whole film. As a small easter egg, I named the system Dormani Home Security simply because it's our last name, and why not? So there honestly wasn't too much VFX to do for this film, but still 4 shots in total. For the security VFX, the door slam was done by getting a shot of me closing the door as well as a clean frame and just making a mess to cut myself out. The second one was definitely a bit more complicated, but came out just how I wanted it. I had Frank lay down on a tall stool and act out the motion of falling. I then got 8 still frames that I would alternate through to sell the effect of him moving on the fall. I then put each image into Photoshop and rotoscoped them one by one. I brought them back into Premiere and using the little knowledge that I have of how easing in and out works with animation. I animated it to look like he was falling down pretty smoothly. Then I added motion blur, and the shot was finished. For real shots, the piano keys playing by themselves were super fun to do. Originally, I thought it would be easy to do without even needing VFX, and I would just be able to make the keys go down from the inside the piano. But unfortunately, that's not how pianos work. So once again, using a mask, I just removed my hand from the shot of me pressing the keys, by using a clean frame. Any other shots you see, like where the iPad falls by itself, were just done the same way in Premiere using a mask. For shooting all the shots where we see Frank at the table looking at the iPad, it was all done practically with no green screen or 3D tracking. Since we knew that later on in the film it would get super intense and he would be moving a lot with the iPad, it would be very hard to track that whole movement. The whole video was put together in Premiere and was about 3 minutes. I then recorded over the video just saying what to press and then added a 3 beep countdown. Here's what it looked like when filming. Main menu. 2.15. Play. Definitely an efficient way to do this, and Frank picked it up pretty fast, so if you're ever looking to do something like this, definitely make these callouts for your actor and add those beeps. It just speeds the process up a lot, and it's definitely very efficient. I usually shoot with the tripod, but for this one, I took the camera off the tripod for pretty much the whole film and went almost entirely handheld. I think it really adds to the suspense of it too, and definitely adds to the realism. Previously, I was using a Lumix 25mm, which is really great, but now I am using a Sigma 18-35mm. to I sometimes do like being locked at one single focal length, like the Lumix 25mm has, but then it's really great to be able to go from 18 to 35 on the Sigma. 100% of the sound for this film was done through ADR and recorded with my Rode NTG2 in post. The score was done by Frank Dormani again, and it was very fitting to the film as always. It was really fun to work on the score together, and if you want to check out more of his work, you can do so in the link in the description on Spotify or YouTube where he releases the scores from the film, so definitely check that out if you're interested. That's all I have for you guys about this film. If you haven't watched it, 
check it out now and maybe rewatch it if you did already so you can notice these things that you didn't before. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.